Hi everyone and welcome to our second ECG tip. This is Hisham Ibrahim, I'm one of the emergency medicine consultants in United Kingdom and uh, today we're going to go through our uh, second quick tip uh, regarding ECG interpretation. And this tip is going to be about the T wave inversion. So when it comes to assessing the T wave from the uh, inversion point of view, it's quite important to uh, not just to focus on whether it's inverted or upright as the only abnormality. There is a lot more that you can uh, come up with if you look a little bit further. So if you check the two T waves that we can see in these two examples, we've got two T waves that are both inverted, but this one in this side is inverted, but it is asymmetrically inverted. So it is asymmetrical in its inversion, and this one in here is symmetrical in its inversion. And generally speaking, the asymmetrical ones, they're both abnormal, but the asymmetrical ones usually is associated with, let's say, relatively benign conditions like um, high blood pressure or uh, like uh, just being a strain pattern or left ventricular hypertrophy. While the symmetrical ones, when I see these ones, I feel really worried. The symmetrical ones are usually associated with more badness, something like acute coronary syndrome, something like pulmonary embolism, something like raised intracranial pressure. So the symmetrical ones are usually the scary ones, while the asymmetrical ones here are usually uh, of a less concerning feature. They're seen with the strain, they're seen with the left ventricular hypertrophy, they're seen with the juvenile T wave inversion pattern. So that's the difference between the two. So both are normal, uh, but the concerning one, I would say in this one, I won't feel happy to see, but this one, I would feel not happy, but probably okay to see. And uh, this is it about our second quick tip. So I hope you find this useful and I'll be talking to you very soon and stay safe and bye for now. Thank you.